the next stop is worldwide player of the weeks uh let's go with gerald moreira uh already ball control driven type possession is great finishing is 91 which is exceptional the only downside for me for gerald moreno is his speed because he's uh he is actually deep lying forward but um with with that he will drop deep and have the open shots so yeah with 91 finishing and kicking power 84 you will have exceptional player for long range shooting first time shot is good chip control shot uh, dipping shot acrobatic finishing through passing penalty specialist the, so yeah basically uh, i wouldn't use him on the, on the sides i would actually use him as a as a center forward and you will not have any trouble with him dembele another exceptional player what for me he lacks is a little bit of physical contact and and low pass and lofted pass and stamina but speed and acceleration uh, him coming from the bench even though he does he isn't super sub he would do exceptional job when everyone else is dead for countering so yeah i would also chase him alex grimaldo fullback defensive awareness is lacking a little bit 70. ball control driven and and uh, tight possession is good low pass and lofted pass is also low but he has speed acceleration curls full free kicks balance and stamina the nilo destroyer center back lacks aggression honestly I would actually use him with this as a lava either in my events welcome uh I'm, I'm sleepy a little bit but uh everything else i'm good uh ball control driven type possession is decent low pass is excellent but honestly i cannot see him playing as a center defender maybe in in free at the back but a, a two center back partnership no no luis enrique roaming flank exceptional speed exceptional acceleration decent ball control driven and tight possession lack low pass and lofted pass but he would do the job as well first time shot long range shooting even though finishing uh, 78 and uh, kicking power he's good for honestly division two matches and division three matches Vassen, terrible goalkeeper terrible even for division two matches he's good for division four and division five matches uh, he cannot be even in division three matches a uh, decent backup for free start teams but anything else no Osimek, acceleration good speed good ball control driving tight possession decent passing decent finishing 84 kicking power 74 74 8 that is the only downside of Osima. everything else would be perfect if he had 85 kicking power and 84 finishing he would be perfect beast but now they put him uh, they give him defensive uh, engagement and they give him aggression so no david silva whole player exceptional low low he has terrible speed and acceleration but he can hold the ball and he can pass the ball he is good for division two matches division three matches he is not that great for division one matches but decent backup from the bench he cannot play the 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 whole match because he has 69 stamina even in the second half when you uh, put him in uh, 60th minute into the game he, he will he will drain the stamina quickly so yeah no uh icardi good strength speed and acceleration is a little bit lacking finishing 86 kicking power 84 this is a good combination uh low pass 73 
the only downside is that he's slow so he's so almost like Lewandowski but he would do the job not for division 1 matches but division 2 and division 3 he would actually do the job long range curler chip shot rising shot acrobatic finishing first time shot one touch pass through passing penalty and super sub exceptional bombonita Sadilek, orchestrator, defensive midfielder, decent defensive awareness and everything else that comes with that. Uh, the downside is that he doesn't have that much strength, especially balance, uh, physical contact when he, which he lacks. Balance is good with the ball, but physical contact is terrible when he needs to uh, take the ball. Uh, decent ball control driven in tight possession, oh, sorry, exceptional ball control driven in tight possession for him. Uh, downside is his height as well. Low pass and lofted pass is good. Um, for orchestrator, acceleration is good, speed is good, curls good. I I only tell you guys, he lacks uh the strength. But on the other hand, he is not that great for division one matches because of his height. Because he's no Kante. Hakante has more physical contact and strength, so. But nevertheless, he can be a decent backup and exceptional player for Division 2 matches. And Cuesta, build up player. Good defensive awareness, tackling aggression and defensive engagement, decent speed and acceleration, uh, jumping exceptional, physical contact, okay. Uh, all around, this guy could be a decent player for for Division 2 matches, even backup for Division 1 matches. This guy can hit me. Because of everything how he is developed. Tackling is a little bit low. Defensive engagement is good. Defensive awareness is good. So yeah, this guy could be a decent backup. Let's see what he has on the cards. Area superiority, acrobatic clearance, blocker, interception, main marking, having everything perfect for for defense so yeah guys th th this guy actually